Alrighty, I wanted to show you guys how to sync up your breathing with your clothes. I got a couple questions about it, so I wanted to show you guys how to do it. Um, this is assuming that you know how to, um, you know, work with Unity with some basic degree. Um, I'll run through everything for you. Uh, first of all, you load in your dynamic bones, and then your VR chat. SDK and then your Rexuian package um, and then you of course add whatever clothes for this example I'll use the harness uh, so you go into here open it up and just drag this into your Rexuian and then you reset the position to 000 and then with this package you might need to unpack the prefab by right clicking and then get rid of this camera and this light. This Rexuium is off center because it's a part of this whole package. So you just recenter that and it should fit him nicely. Now, what you can do is if you have a custom material, uh, you drag this sphere over to the harness or if you have another material that you can use, you can use any one of these crazy designs if you want. But for now, I'm just going to use the one that was provided. So, what you want to do is you see how everything is a lighter shade. You want to go to the darker Rexuium, drop that menu down, and then drag this harness to into that base. So you'll have your armature, your body, and then your harness too. Now, what you want to do is with this armature, you will unpack it. And then you'll go into the Rexuium armature and open this up. And then for the armature hips, you want to click, simply drag that under the hips. And then you'll see how this plus sign is right under this cube. That means that it is non-native and therefore the harness hip is now attached to the Rexuium hips. And then you'll want to do that for every one of these. So left leg goes into left leg, right leg goes into right leg, and then this left leg end I just put in right into left knee. And then you can close those out or collapse them. Save space. You take your right leg under right leg, right leg end under right knee. Collapse the save space. Spine under spine. Chest under chest. Left shoulder under left shoulder. Right shoulder under right shoulder left arm and etc until you have no more of these free floating now that the armature is set up and attached under the rexuium if we go into play just to check if it worked, you want to go back to your scene, go back to your Rexuium, say we want to ch check the, the chest, click the chest, click this rotate tool, and then you can rotate them and see now everything is attached to the Rexuium. You just hit the play button and it'll undo all your changes. And now to get to the breathing, to get that to sync. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to go to these idols and then pick one of the idols that you want. So see you have one with idle breathing, no ears, idle breathing, twitching, so on and so forth. So let's say you want to have your idol with the tail wagging slow. 
So you'll want to make a copy of this. Go to Show in Explorer. And then you'll want to copy and paste. And then double click to rename. Tail wagging slow with harness. We'll just rename it to that. And then you can click and drag to bring it into here. And then now you'll have a tail wagging slow with harness dot animation. And what you will want to do now is you can drag this to your, uh, your Rexulium, go to animation, and you will now have this idle breathing, twitching, tail waking slow with harness animation under here before it was grayed out. But now we can edit it. You want, depending on your screen size, you might need to drag this out so you can see everything. Don't mind all of this. This is just what was in there before. You'll want to go to the bottom of this list, add property, find your harness too, and then harness, you know, you're into the body. The skinned mesh renderer is where your breathing blend shapes are. And you'll see all the blend shapes for the Rexuium under here. Now what you're looking for is this blend shape breathing. Hit the plus mark and I'll add it to the list. You'll also want to go back and do this for the breathing belly. Same steps, hit the plus and now it's added to the list. Now what you will want to do is this is the Rexurium breathing animation. And you see that we have, these are called keyframes. What you will want to do is go to breathing and keep an eye on which keyframe this is on. You can hit this button to go forward a keyframe to make it easy. And then what you will want to do is keep an eye on this value, say, okay, this is at 52.524. You will want to click this add keyframe. Make sure this is selected, otherwise you will add a keyframe for all of them first. Make sure this is selected. You'll see a blue triangle or diamond. And you just simply type in 52.524. Now see how the harness changed? That value changes. So let's just keep it to 55 or 52.524. Go to the next one in this row. Drop another keyframe. And 56.35. Hit enter. And then you'll want to do this for each space. And then this will sync up your harness animation your harness is breathing with the Rexuiums. You will need to do this a couple times because this is an animation loop for the whole body, not just for the breathing. If you wanted to do it just for the breathing, you can. But again, I want to have the tail wag and the ears flick so I am going to use this to, as an example. And all you do is go back and forth, putting in values. Making sure that you get all the keyframes lined up so nothing is missed.
and then sometimes the animation that I made for my Rexuium. I believe I put the harness under the hips or under the Rexuium. Um, that might explain why it's not working for some of you. But if you move this harness to, to say under your hips, then this breaks the animation and you will need to either move the harness back or you will need to redo the animation. But I would advise to check to where the harness is placed. And then once you're done with this loop, it'll reset everything to zero. And now we can go back, hit this rewind and to go back to the beginning. And then now we do the breathing belly. So again, look for this line, look for these keyframes, make sure breathing belly for the harness is selected. Then make your keyframes and just copy 17.48, hit enter, and then go on to the next one. It's pretty simple, takes a little bit of time, but now your avatar will breathe with your harness, and then you don't need to worry about clipping, and your avatar will be animated. This is not just for the Rexurium, by the way. You can do this with any avatar. It's the same steps as long as they have an idle breathing on the avatar and an idle breathing on the clothes that you were trying to put on. If your clothes do not have an idle breathing animation or the blend shapes for it, you may not be able to do this. If you know Blender, you can make your own clothing, but I am just going to be showing you guys how to put these breathing animations to be able to sync up. I might cover that in another video. We're almost done. We just have one more set to do. One more. All right, and that's it. And then it'll go back to zero once this reaches the end. Okay, and then you can hit play, double check that everything is running well, and as you can see, the harness is now breathing with our avatar. Congratulations, you mess with Unity animations. So now, what we want to do is to change our idle, idle animations to use that what you want to do is you click this, your base Rexuium, and then you may need to scroll down until you get to this VRC avatar descriptor that's included. If you are working with another avatar that does, is not already preset, all you need to do is go to add component, type in avatar or ava, and you just click this and it will add all of this for you and you may need to set this up differently but again this is just for the pre-built Rexuium that I'm going to cover. So now what you'll want to do is you will go to gesture override, double click that, click the idle, see how this has the M and the A? What you want to do is click the cogwheel, change the Sprex head only 
there will be the circle over here. Click that to none, and that will turn the tail wag on. Click the idle here. Click this circle up here, and then you will see your animation. Tail wagging slow with harness. You can double click that, and that will be set to your idle. You'll want to go back to your scene, hit your Rexuing once more, go to this FX overriders, double click that, go to your idle again, just for good measure. And same thing, change your mask to none, click your idle, click your circle above by motion, and then change that idle the idle animation to tail wagging slow with harness. And that should be it for your idle animation. Now once you go back into play, you can double check and verify that your animation is playing correctly. As you can see it is and we can play with him a little bit if you wanted to raise his right leg. Usually that will work, sometimes it doesn't. With the animation playing, you might need to stop that. But everything's attached, and now you can upload to VRChat. I hope this guy, I hope this helps you out. Um, again, this is not just for the harness, it can be for the leg warmers and arm sleeves. Um, I will try to include the files here and the animation that I made for you guys, so you can copy that. But if it does not work, you can uh, use this tutorial and hopefully uh, make your own animations to make that work. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys around soon. Is you'll want to find your breathing animation, which is under harness. Or it, no, it won't be in harness, I'm sorry. It'll be under controllers animations, idols, and then in here there should be a